Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, that was a bad day. We got him in the end. That we did. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... they killed everyone near the dig site. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. It survived, Saren. It can survive this. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. Like the Collectors, or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos. But this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. There they are. moving before more of them come back.
intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode.
They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. We didn't kill these people, and we're going to shut down the bastards who did. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. readiness signal to all life forms and the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire you understood that one too yeah I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here. Got it. Intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony.
They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there! I saw a supply cache in the building next door, if you want to stock up. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> <laughs> 